What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So, it is a few days before season five and we had to break down you guys know we do this every single season we got to break down a tier list of these characters with all the changes that are coming my thoughts my opinions the nerfs the buffs the even more nerfs that we just got which blizzard has suffered a lot of backlash at but this video is going to be breaking down the best classes tier list rankings okay again this is my humble opinion based on all the information we know plus i do want to shout out max roll and rob because they made out some other tier lists and it's some really good information for you guys so i am going to highlight some of that stuff in the in the video and leave links to down to uh their stuff in the description below but without further ado first before we get into this tier list, let's break down the old tier list right here at the end. And I think everything kind of changed by the time we got to the end of season four, where Barbarian was still the best, followed by Rogue, probably followed by Necromancer, and then Druid and Sork just kind of suffered the losses of absolutely everything. Now, let's go ahead and go get into some of this stuff. So we got the patch notes here. We did release a video on that if you guys want to go check it out with links and all that good stuff and i know every you know all the other creators have made videos talking about all these horrendous nerfs i mean some of these things are really good like the crown actually is pretty balanced now but um there's big nerfs that blizzard suffered a lot of backlash at after we just got a bunch of buffs uh particularly on not only the aspects but the unique items so hopefully this will balance out things a little bit better now with all of the changes to the classes in these patch notes going to season five you already know we got the tier list. We got to do it, okay? Now, before I start with my ranking, let's go take a look at what Max Roll has got. Again, these are just their rough, you know, analysis and their, well, maybe not rough, their thorough analysis of what some of the builds are going to be, which we will talk about uh, the actual builds tier list in another video. But this is really good to just shed some light on what they believe they're, you know, the what kind of builds suffer what kind of ones got better etc like oh my god my heart seeker rogue going from s tier down to b tier is a big bummer and then big shout out to rob here for kind of putting together a nice little tier list of um again builds and just kind of what he believes this is all you know guesstimation all that good stuff which i think is really cool it really seems like there's a lot of really good information here so definitely check that out but without further ado guys let's get into it so let's start at the bottom because why not, right? Started at the bottom, now we're here. Let's get to the bottom. Um, you guys are, God, you guys are gonna just butcher me, but you know what, I love it. Again, guys, this is all my opinion based on all the information that we have to date. And again, be cool in the comment section. Let me know where you think these classes should be ranked. Have some good constructive criticism. Don't just say, oh, it should be better because uh, I think so. Well, eh, it's a kind of a dead conversation, right? But. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start. Oh, oh C tier. Druid. Poor, poor Druid. Um, there's been a lot of buffs with Druid here in uh, these patch notes. However, I just don't think that there was enough for Druid in totality. I really don't. Uh, Druid got some, some unique changes and some aspect changes. And there's some really good buffs here. But again, I think because of the caps on a lot of the Paragon skills, the lack of mobility for a lot of the uh, movement skills of the Druid, the lack of overpower, which overpower did get a little bit stronger. Um, a lot of these things just suffer again with the Druid. Now, at the high end of Druid, Druid's still going to have a lot of really good builds. I think the Cataclysm build is going to be much better. Lightning Strike is going to be much better. Um, however, the going away from being able to be completely in either werewolf or werebear suffers. You really have to just basically be shape-shifting constantly. Otherwise, you lose a bunch of damage, which really narrows how you're going to do your builds. But, uh, yeah, man, just Druid. I don't think Druid got enough. I don't think Druid got enough here with all of the core skill changes. It still is not enough, in my opinion. Uh, but I still love Druid. Hopefully, there will be something in the midseason season or it's not even a mid-season. It's like two weeks in, and then they, they give us a nice little hot fix, which maybe it'll buff Druid. Maybe I'm wrong about Druid. This is one that's a big question mark, but I just don't think there was enough. Um, next is, here we go, Necromancer and B-tier. Okay, B-tier here uh, for Necromancer. Huge buffs all last season. A lot of changes here in the, uh, the patch notes, again, with all the lucky hit. 
minions are still very very strong even without the holy bolt potion even though they got nerfed and then after that you basically saw like no necromancers anywhere in season four which i found hilarious but necros are still very very good i think they're going to do very very well this season with a lot of the changes especially with all the bone skills bone storm is incredibly powerful bone spirit's going to be incredibly strong there's a lot of very good things here for um necromancer and more importantly they buffed a lot of the uh all the lucky hit like i said they buffed a lot of the shadow damage a lot of the sever builds blight still has some really good damage over time but more importantly we finally got some major buffs to all of the blood stuff for necromancer which i think is going to be really good i don't know yet but there's a lot of good stuff for um the blood skills for necromancer and more importantly they probably had the biggest movement buff in all of the game coming up with the shadow like like dashing and dropping blight and being able to dash between all of your enemies like if you guys haven't seen that clip it's insane uh but necromancer is going to be sitting in a really really good spot so b tier right now and so we can really gauge the power scale but i mean if there was like a 1.5 i'd probably put necromancer here but necromancer is going to be in b tier um next is going to be sorceress okay um now i me personally if i'm being biased i would put sork here with the buffs okay there's the the initial 25 percent buff from the core stat uh changes from 10 to 8 which is huge you know every 100 it's like a 25 percent buff in comparison to like the barbarian however in the in the longevity of the game barb's being able to get over 2,000 strength where sorks were barely getting to a thousand i mean they're going to be higher this season with a lot of the uniques giving you know or like the uniques giving us like main stat but i still don't think it's enough so to me sork is at b tier possibly like halfway between c and b so i'm going to put sork here in b tier um i really there's some really good upside with sork if we can get through all of the testing um the damage initial damage buff from the core stat skill change is very very good and then the additional just flat damage buff that they gave sorceress for what is it 25 percent is still very very strong however the fact that we lost perma flame shield and there's not really a huge buff to being able to give us a secondary defense like uh you know if we were going into barrier or something i know ice shield got buffed but i don't know how good barrier is going to be with the class and i know there's some other good really really strong defensive buffs but those are just normal defensive stuff so if sork still can't put out the damage with those buffs then sork is still just really really lacking and then on top of this one other thing that really frustrates me a lot about sork is that we still have the caps the caps is just like the druid in your paragon nodes is very very disappointing I, it really sucks that we continue to get caps for certain things in this game like all this stuff is capped from 40 to 60 percent which is really just a hindrance on the class in general uh, I know the devs said that they're, they are looking at things down the line to really buff the core elements of these classes besides the Barbarian to kind of get it closer, but the caps really hurt the class from really scaling. So, and now we lost Perma Flame Shield and the ability to scale the um, Shatter on the key passives. So, man, as much as I would really want to put Sork higher because you see these damage buffs and see these things and it makes your eyes go wide and you're like oh my god this could be really good i just don't i just don't know it's enough until we can really really test it um without any bugs so for now just imagine for the rest of the video that sork is like right here um next barbarian i'm still putting barbarian at a tier i don't care what anybody says barbarian is still incredibly powerful even without the course that change and it's going to stay at 10. the fact is that barbarian even with all these uniques now getting the main stats, Barbarian's easily going over 2,000, maybe 2,500 strength um, this season in season five, which is just an absurd amount of strength. And now the changes to like Tyrael's Might and all these other builds and stuff, Hoda and, you know, Upheaval, Barbarian's going to be in no trouble whatsoever. It still might even just be an S tier class. So you guys can argue that with me down in the comments, but barbarian i think is going to be just fine 
Uh, I'm not even going to talk too much on Barbarian. You guys know that Barbarian's been the best build or the best class for over a year. And I think it's going to continue to be until we can check out Spiritborn. Um, last but not least, I'm putting Rogue in S tier this season. Um, Rogue was very, very good last season in season four, especially with Heartseeker. Um, it got a real come up in all the poison builds. It got a real come up in the range skills. And now there's so much buff. So much buff. There's a huge buff to uh, not only some of these changes here for Barrage, but Flurry's huge. All the poison stuff has been buffed very, very well. Even though Andy's helmet has changed and the, the Caltrop stuff has changed, I still think that Rogue is in a very good spot. The devs gave a lot of good buffs to this class. And I think with a lot of the uniques uh, to this build, we're really, or to this class, we're really going to be able to capitalize on like some very different builds like Rain of Arrows, the Ultimates, Cutthroat skills in particular with Flurry. The grenade build that we did last season, I think, is going to be much better because they fixed all the damage on that. So, I mean, there's a lot of good things here. It just sucks that Heartseeker still is, is nerfed into the ground. It's still not even working from the PTR correctly. So, Victimize has been completely pooped. I, I think that they will um, fix this in the midseason update, but until then i think rogue is really going to surprise a lot of people this season and people should not underestimate how powerful rogue is going to be so i think rogue is in a very very good spot barbarian next necromancer third sork here halfway between b and c and then druid still at the bottom again guys this is just my opinion and all the information we have from the patch notes uh past season four ptr patch notes nerfs or buffs nerfs buffs wait buffs nerfs nerfs something like that. that that's the chain of events that happened but guys this is my tier list like the video thank you guys so much for watching comment down below let me know what you guys think about this and what should be changed who should be higher or lower let me know your thoughts going into season five don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace